So this is full disclosure for you lovers of the green map people. I don't know what happened to the green map. I looked for it. I thought for nostalgia's sake, I will bring out the green mat. Where is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the green mat is. So I finished my booze and I'm watching Big Bang Theory and for the record, I've been watching Big Bang, Big Bang Theory for about 12 years now and I love Raj and I love his new potential wife and I knew and just as an aside, I'm also been pe periodically physically attracted to African American or black men and um, I don't give a fuck about political correctness, correctedness, whatever, okay? I'm attracted to all kinds of men and some women too, but I lean towards men, so. Um, but in regards to my personal ads, it's because of this absolutely volatile, diverse climate, like political climate, world climate, whatever we're in, that it's not worth it. You know what I mean? It's like, oh yeah, physically, yeah, he's hot. The, the new guy who's the sexiest man alive on people, oh yeah, he's hot, but no. And that is because nine times out of ten, you know, I won't even say it, but Joe told me I didn't understand. When I got my first clonic with back where Joe is in his his state and And they were African American. They were mother daughter, and I loved the daughter, but the mom treated me like fucking crap. And when I told Joe how she had treated me, and I did videos, and video people were like, "Oh my God, why'd you put up with that?" I don't know, because I was in shock. But Joe talked about the white devil and this, that, or whatever. That this woman hated me just because I'm blonde, blue eyed, and. Me naive, I was like, really, Joe? <laughs> it's like, I didn't know, okay? Honestly, I didn't know. I'm not... I don't know what the word is. Up on that shit or whatever. I'm not. So again, it's not that I'm not physically attracted to all different races, okay? Because <laughs> I am. Um, But this political climate, this diverse climate, this whatever, causes me to tend to lean towards, you know, just to keep it easy. <laughs> I created videos. Those women, and you don't know where they are, and you never will know because I'm not going to tell you where Joe is. Um, I'm sorry, not those women, just the one. She was a fucking bitch towards me. Oh my God. I was in such shock that I created videos. And if you want to find them, it says my first colonic or whatever. And people are on my side, you know. I don't ever think that way. You understand? The the um the recent California shooting, the guy without even knowing anything was saying, well, he seemed Middle Eastern, but they don't know for sure. He didn't know for sure. He was the first young witness, but he's like he seemed this or he seemed that. No, you have no idea. That's stereotyping. Could it be that? Of course it could. It could be at someone else. It could be anything. You know. I 
getting a freaking cold sore. Not a cold sore, whatever you call it. It's not on the outside, it's on the inside. I can't go sore, I don't know what it is. I heard they're caused by stress, though. Anyway, just because I'm physically attracted to all different kinds of men, literally, I am, so. But physical attraction is nothing, you know what I mean? You have to... And nine times out of ten, we know that, you know... What I find fascinating, though, is in my personal ads, the black or African-American guys that I don't respond to. Meanwhile, I could just click, oh, I'm interested in women, but that would be a lie. Um, and they think, oh, she just doesn't like black guys. No. It's actually that I might be hot for you, but cognizant of the fact that nine times out of ten or 99.999% of the time we're, we're going to disagree on everything, you know. And that's okay. It's not not okay, you know what I mean? I'm hot for the guy, the African American or black guy on a million little things because he's vulnerable and he's admitting that he's but I don't like that he has to take antidepressants. I don't even recognize the antidepressant that he's taking. And so I don't like that he has to take them. I don't recognize what he's taking. And according to Kelly Brogan and others, uh, antidepressants just don't fucking work for the majority of the people. So He was on Jimmy Kimmel too, and I liked him. I do. But I'm not interested in all the other problems that come with that, you know. I'm staying on my own level with personal ads and, you know, getting a response from. But it doesn't mean I'm not physically attracted, because a lot of times I am. But I just don't even go there because it's not worth it. And I know. And I'm too fucked up anyway to... You know what I mean? I'm just playing because I'm too fucked up. Maybe years ago here, I could have dabbled in this and actually seriously dabbled in it. But all the shit that happened since then has made my, okay, we got, my baggage could fill five airports. Now my baggage can fill 10 airports, you know. Does it upset me? Yeah. It upsets me the way that, you know, the woman on The Good Doctor the other day, she gets amputated in her arm, and she was a fucking brilliant on her way to become a superstar, like, whatever, violinist, whatever it was, She and she loses her arm, and that's it. Her dreams are over, so... Yeah, it upsets me, but what, seriously, what in life doesn't upset me, including everything with my mom, you know? Do I have fun? As in safe fun, as in...
content with merely being some men across this planet, across the United we can't see across the United States, it spans the world. So across this world, are you just content with being some? Keyword being some. Men's fantasy across this world? No. The rest isn't worth it to me. Before Donna found me on Alicia's world, I would have undeniably, in anybody's eyes, been in my right to say, that's it, fuck it, I'm done, you know? But I didn't. And then I got burned more badly than I could have ever, ever fathomed in my wildest imagination. What makes me shudder is if I hadn't gotten away or escaped or wised up or Charlie on YouTube, you know what I mean? Charlie on Yahoo. It was just, I had never met him in person, but he was a... Dream fan, whatever the word is, he was fucking whatever. But I would have still been trapped in that, you know. I would have still been trapped. Actually, at this point, if I, I think I would be dead, so you know. But Were I not dead, after all these years, I would have still been trapped in a living hell where you're with someone, but it, you might as well be alone, you know? I want to look up the lyrics to Do Not Disturb. I didn't know I liked that in the beginning. It grew on me when I kept playing on Music Choice, but I still want to know that monster, 2018, some band I didn't recognize. It wasn't Star Set Monster either, just to be clear. I've heard that and it's not that. I call Best Buy and they're like, we don't know, but it'll play again on me. I know it'll play again on Music Choice. I'm lazy. I want to know now. I thought maybe you would know. You don't know, it's fine. And then I listen to Music Choice for a little bit of time, not much, less than an hour and it didn't play because it's not going to... Meanwhile, when I wasn't looking for it, it played like twice in a couple of weeks, but you know, when I want it, I'll sit there for hours and it'll never play. Just torment me. For some reason, I got in my head that the band was House of Cards, but I looked up House of Cards and it had nothing, so I don't know. If you guys know... It's a 2018 band I don't recognize. It's not like Shine Down or Five Figure Death Punch or Foo Fighters or Avenged Sevenfold or, you know. By the way, Avenged Sevenfold, Mad Hatter, is an example of a song I hate. Just so you know. But it plays on the same music choice that plays my Shine Down, Hailstorm, Theory of a Dead Man, Five Figure, you know what I mean? So. I'm just giving you an example of songs I hate. Event Sevenfold, Mad Hatter is an example of songs I hate. I don't like anything from Chevelle. And I don't know what my green mat is that you guys like. One time I put the camera down for the green mat down there, and kaplooey, the camera knocked down. I was getting exuberant way over here, and the camera knocked down, so we don't want that to happen.
I honestly don't know what happened to it. Seriously. Do you know I was in the department store today and some woman, I was in my little pantyhose, which is tights actually, and the little, the skirt, she's in like, is not, and she's like, for out of the blue, she's like, remember when boys used to lift up our, and, and actually, I was as flabbergasted that this stranger, she's an employee, but why are you doing that? And, um, people are weird. People just do weird shit. I told you I was in the grocery store. Oh, you're getting a lot of stuff, aren't you? Is it because... It, how do you know I don't have ten people feeding at home? I'm not, but... I don't think. Anyway, I actually don't remember that. I don't. I don't think that ever happened to me. I told you I was an outcast in grade school, and it's not like I went... But it was funny, because this total... Str she was older, by the way. She was either older than me or looked older than me because you never know because I don't look my age according to a lot of people. So, um, but whatever. She's like, remember when she didn't actually touch me, but she went to touch me, and I'm wearing this scarf. She's like, remember when boys used to like lift up her? Why are you saying that to me? Is that a roundabout way you like attracted to my tights or my legs or whatever? Because. I might be 50 years old, but I can kill her legs, and that's from years and years and years and years of walking, plus good genes, or whatever, but anyway, I don't know. I don't know. But, I did get my hair cut today, and I'm liking it. Um... And I did buy hailstorms, do not disturb. I wasn't sure if I liked the song or not, but I wanted something. You know, I wanted something new and it was that and then I wound up listening to him walking around and dance I'm sorry, and singing out loud and not dancing, of course, in public, but jamming to my music discreetly without causing undue attention to myself. And if I'm in the pitch black I can be a little louder in my enthusiasm, be a little vocal, you know, more vocal in my, you know, expressing my enthusiasm for Hailstorm Lizzie's Do Not Disturb. Where's the green mat? I don't know. What I do with it? I don't know. I don't know. Any more than I know how this video is going to come out. Any more than I know why I'm feeling like I have a canker sore. It just didn't happen. It's probably stress. doesn't usually happen, I'd say it was stress, right? But I'm too far away for you guys to know shit,
tell you the Nickelback Animals. You know how old that song is now? I played on Music Choice the other day. I was in the room on my computer and I had the Music Choice on the Comcast on the TV. And I vaguely was hearing and I'm like, is that Nickelback? What is that? And then I walked out here and I'm like, oh my god, it's animals. Remember, we're in 2018, so they're playing animals. They do play old songs sometimes, but that's like ancient on music choice, you know? It's a long time ago. I forget what animals was, but it was pretty long ago enough, you know? Seeing as they're playing a lot of recent, like 2016, 17, 18 songs, so... I was like, I know that song, I think. Is that Nickelback? I think. And I ran out and like, ooh, it's Nickelback's Animals. Woo! I don't know how this is gonna be. I think I usually have the camera on the floor. It's probably gonna be sucky. That's all right. If it's not sucky, my diehard fans like Kurt, the Kurt Wack, and Eric, whatever Eric Crombie, something or other, and Frankie, and. A few others, my really diehard fans, are gonna like it. And then we wonder if my eyes just being like whatever and watching it. You know, you think not? I told you. Whenever I have a new subscriber, it comes in my hotmail, and her name came in my hotmail. Which, and when that happens, it's like they unsubscribe and then subscribe again, okay? You gotta wonder about her watching, if she's watching videos like this, you gotta wonder, babe. Hopefully, she'll shut it off, right? You would hope. Consider I am her blood niece, you'd think she'd shut it off if I show any skin at all, right? Do not shows. More likely pass out watching my Thursday night shows, but I wanna watch my Thursday night shows. I think I've given my fans enough videos. Do 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 I wanna watch my Thursday night shows. I think giving my fans enough videos. Do 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 I wanna watch my Thursday night shows. I think I've given my fans enough videos. Do 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 Where's Omar? Did he bury himself under the freaking... Where's Omar? Did he 
bury himself under the blanket, possibly. I sleep on the couch, you know. When my mom comes for the weekends, I don't sleep on the couch, but... Otherwise, I sometimes do. I told you it's a crapshoot. It's like a... It's like, you know... I kind of deliberate, like, between... On the couch, it's not pitch black, but it's more air, you know? It's like six and one half dozen than another, I suppose. It might have less... You know, in my room, I have the sheet up, and it's pitch black, but it's no air, and next I never open the windows, whereas out here, we have we have all kinds of air, you know? But we're never going to get pitch black, ever. Ever, ever, ever. We get the light coming in back there. We get the light coming in through... I mean, when I'm on the couch, we get the light coming in through there. We have this overhead light in the dining room that even if you shut it off all the way, it still has a dim feature, so... Plus the refrigerator, you know... But I think I do really sleep better on the couch despite it not being pitch black for melatonin reasons, you know. I think that. I don't know for sure, but I feel that way. It's midnight right now. Ow, ow, ow! Shit, shit, shit. Uh-oh. Just so you know, I do get leg cramps sometimes, and... Scientists and experts don't know what causes leg cramps. And I take my, my, um, magnesium, calm, religiously every night. But I have noticed, and I did read this online, that when I drink, even though I'm not getting shit-faced, clearly, I'm not falling down drunk, okay? I'm drinking fireballs and over the course of several hours, so, um, it's not like I'm going to get shit-faced, but... And it's not like fireballs or vodka. They have a significantly lower alcohol percentage, okay? Alcohol by volume percentage. But I have noticed that when I drink, I tend to get the leg cramps more. You be the judge of that, people lows. People who love me and people who don't. You be the judge of that, people lose. You people who love me and you people who don't. Ask me if I care. Either way, to me, it's just another fucking day. No, that's not true. I do actually appreciate those of you who care about me. Bye-bye.